The unexpected comes along in all of our lives. It's usually quite unwelcome and disruptive as well. I mean, let's be honest, hasn't the last year and a half been a pretty unexpected environment? And I think that we can still have faster decision making in the unexpected environment. And let me tell you a little lesson that I learned from flying these Mach 2 capable aircraft. Do you know what an F-15E Strike Eagle or an F-16 does really poorly at Mach 2? I mean, really poorly. The thing it does really bad at Mach 2 is turn and change direction. You know, an unexpected environment can often take us off course or require us to make major muscle movements and major kind of decisions. I can tell you in a combat environment, sometime I can be flying along at Mach 2 and all of a sudden the enemy has a choice and they show up behind me. And I need to go ahead and, I guess, turn my aircraft at Mach 2 as fast as I can, 180 degrees, because I am required due to shifting priorities to go in a different way. Has this ever happened to you in your personal life? Has it happened even recently as CIOs and CTOs and tech executives in the tech industry in this pandemic, where you've been forced by no choice of your own to completely change direction? I know, we've all been there. And I'll tell you what, that F-15E, it hates to turn at Mach 2. It is ugly. It takes a lot of space, a lot of time, and it is a waste of fuel. So we have something to fix that. We want to be able to turn quickly and efficiently, an efficient use of our limited time, talent, and treasure, which is what you want when you have to shift direction of yourself or your teams as well. We calculate something on the ground before we ever take off called corner velocity. Corner velocity is unique to that flight, that aircraft, that day. It's dependent on the altitude, the temperature, the amount of fuel that you're carrying, the amount of weapons that you're carrying. But by quickly slowing down to corner velocity, we can make the quickest, sharpest, most efficient turn and put ourselves on a new course and re-accelerate as fast as possible. It's an instantaneous shift in performance when the situation, the unexpected environment, demands it. Corner velocity allows us to change course and reaccelerate very, very quickly. What is your corner velocity as a human being? What does it take for your team to calculate its corner velocity? Do you know what it is? What are the processes, procedures, and resources you need in place in order to quickly attain corner velocity, shift direction, and reaccelerate? You know what's interesting too about corner velocity is it doesn't just apply to your work and technology or the teams and the organizations that you're on. It also applies to you as a human being. It's been a tough year, my friends. It's been a tough year for you, for me. It's been a tough year for all of us. I'm going to shift gears on, on you here really quickly and share a very personal story to show you how the unexpected and corner velocity can actually affect you as a person. And it's okay to talk about human things. Right? We want to create a culture where people can bring all of themselves to work. A culture where there's room for humanity, if you will, in the workplace. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, Nicole, why aren't you still in the Air Force? How did you go from being a fighter pilot to a speaker in front of us today? And I think that that's a valid question. You know, here's the thing. Three and a half years ago, I was medically retired from the military. Against my will, I went out kicking and screaming. I ended up falling severely ill. In fact, I fell severely ill with a brain infection. A brain infection caused by a tick. That's right, a teeny tiny tick bite completely broke me and forced me to change direction. It was totally unexpected. Overnight, I lost my identity as an Air Force officer, my profession as a fighter pilot, and my means for providing for my family. For nine months, I laid in bed, unable to walk, talk, read, or write. I spent another year in rehab. And sometime during that nearly two year kind of episode of me being bedridden and housebound, I lost my career. And in that moment, I sat there thinking, what is it that I'm gonna do? How do I find my way out of this unexpected environment? And then it hit me, this idea of corner velocity and what I used to tell my students when I was teaching them about corner velocity, this famous phrase that every fighter pilot knows, sometimes you have to slow down to speed up. Sometimes you have to slow down to speed up. And in those words, I found the strength and the courage to be resilient, to actually be resurgent and come out of this difficult crucible experience better made, stronger. 
I learned how to reinvent myself. And I think corner velocity allows all of us this idea that we, you and me and your teams and your organizations have the power to reinvent ourselves at any given time. I want to leave you with one last aviation phrase, and it's this. The runway behind you is always unusable. All you ever have is the runway that's in front of you.